spooky season. I have got three games for you to check out this Halloween season. So let's get into them. Two of them I actually have here. The third one I actually regret set it, selling. Uh, so we'll get into that and why I sold it in the first place, but also why I regret it. First up from Grand Gamers Guild, we've got La Familia Horde. This gives me Adam's Family vibes. Uh, you are trying to plant out your little garden here where you are trying to please your dead grandma that's recently passed away. She's gonna come and haunt you three times during the game and get, let you uh, do scoring and points before how you've managed to arrange your garden and how you've best managed to grow things. This is very family friendly, very lightweight um, and very cool. Uh, the artwork on it is just stunning. Uh, and so this is actually about maybe 30 minute game, which is really cool for something even quicker and smaller box out of Taiwan. We've got a trick taking game about collecting candy, which wouldn't be any cooler than that. This little tiny little game here. Simple little rule book. Beautiful, beautiful cards here. Uh, these are so cute. I love them uh, so much. Uh, and so this is just a nice little trick taking game uh, that you can check out. And so uh, this one I picked up at Spiel, uh, which was definitely heavy euros and trick taking games. Now, speaking of heavy euros, the game that I don't have physically in front of me, but I love but regret selling is Abomination. This one is so gruesome and cool. Uh, in this game, you are going around the city of one and collecting body parts. Um, and different various bodily fluids and liquids, etc. Uh, trying to get all of the parts you need to create a new monster and bring it to life. Now, I love the actual going to the pick up and deliver kind of aspect of going around London and finding all of the body parts and all of that kind of stuff. And then on your player board, you get to assemble this really creepy looking monster here. Now, the part that I didn't like and why I ended up selling it was that once you've actually done all of this hard work, to make this monster, uh, you have to do the luck of the dice to actually bring it to life. And that's where you get the bulk of the points. So numerous times when we played this, we actually house ruled it so that when you rolled the dice, there's actually a destructive element to them because uh, you you know put too much electrician and you blew up the thing. Thematically, it makes sense. However, after you've put in all that hard work in a three hour Euro to then just roll the dice and have it all destroyed really, really sucked. Uh, so that's why I ended up selling it. Um, but I still want to play it again because I feel like this game is a good game if you just house rule it. Um, and sometimes that's what you got to do with games is give them a house rule. Now, uh, the house rules around here don't happen that often. So I want to know how often do you house rule and what are your favorite games for spooky season? Those are three of mine. Uh, we will see you next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, and goodbye.